I, at 10 years old, I'm in the same class with Teddy Hart. And he kept asking me to come to his house, which he said was a gym. And when you're a kid, you think of gym as gymnasium. You know, in Canada, it's floor hockey, basketball. And when I show, when I went with him to his house, it was uh, like a hardcore workout gym, like bikers, like. It, and I was like, "Oh, this is not what I was expecting at all." And then uh, went up to Stu's once for a Sunday dinner, and I just became engulfed in in this family that's, forever that's for the so last wild. thirty-three years. That's so wild because yeah, that's like, man, like what a what a perfect twist of fate for you to get involved in a family that would just kind of like be such a big part of your life from such a young age. And then, yeah. Oh my God. And like, I think about it a lot, like a butterfly effect, I guess. But like, what if I didn't, what if I didn't, like, what if Ted didn't befriend me? Ted was, Ted was very like pushy and trying to befriend me. And I was trying to avoid him actually a little bit at first. And he just wasn't having it. And me sitting here right now, 43 years old, I'm telling you, I'm very grateful for him being as pushy as he was as a 10 year old kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, at what point, cause you start, cause what, how old were you there when you met Teddy and started getting involved in the family? Uh, I was 10, 10. So then it's a couple of years later when you're actually kind yeah, of like, and then, and then like, I remember, you know, his family obviously so engulfed in wrestling. So now I'm almost kind of being, I guess not even re-educated, just educated into what is this wrestling and who's who. And um, I just remember like watching, and I remember re really starting to enjoy everything and kind of like really liking this wrestling. And I'm watching it at home now. I, I the ban has been somehow lifted. Unbanned myself. I unbanned it myself at home. I guess I, I, I learned not to do the moves on my sisters. So, <laughs> uh, or at least not when my mom was around. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad we have that in so, common. My sister always talks about how she was like, yeah, I loved getting power bombed all the time by you. <laughs> awful. I had this, I had this stuffed monkey that was a little taller than me and had like long limbs and stuff. So he was awesome. Like he was awesome to learn how to do sharpshooters and figure fours and stuff like that. And he couldn't complain. He didn't get hurt. He was just a stuffed toy. He was great. He wasn't going to tell um, mom on you. <laughs> <laughs> he was easy to keep quiet. I had to bribe my sisters a little bit. Harder, but the monkey, no problem. Seth <laughs> Monkey, he wasn't gonna say a word. Uh, but SummerSlam '92, Brett versus Davey. I, I didn't, you know, I'm, a, I'm 12 years old, and I just, I didn't understand that wrestling could look like that. And that's what, like, from that moment, the second I watched that match, when it was over, I just remember, I don't know what, but something in my head was like, okay, this is exactly what I'm gonna do.